Samuel Buscombe. I'm here for an interview with Mr. Callender. Mr. Buscombe, do come in. What a marvellous building. I'll inform Mr. Callender of your arrival. Agnes will show you to the library. If you're here for an interview, nosing around probably won't help. Forgive me. Family trees are a fascinating thing. I assume you're the daughter of the household? Unfortunately, yes. I wish I'd been a son. Father says it's a fool's errand to study science or hope to be a doctor. Most would be grateful simply for being born into such privilege. <laughs> what does your mother think of your ambitions? Mother? She passed away a long time ago. So the lady of the house... Rosamond. Father married again. She supports me, but it's my father's word. You ask a lot of questions. You know that book belongs in a museum. I'd recommend Gibbs's Equilibrium of Heterogeneous Substances. Science moves quickly. I'm not familiar with your name. Do you write under a pseudonym? Well, the truth is, journalism is something of a new foray. You have no experience whatsoever? No, sir. Although it's long been a passion of mine, I I've written some articles. Um, if you had the chance to read them over, I would be so very grateful. This is highly unusual. Well, I suppose I could find a few minutes to read them between other appointments. If you'd like to wait around. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Callender. exactly are you looking for? Anything the son of a chemist might know? I was raised with elements, compounds, formulas. Science is an endless preoccupation. So you wouldn't happen to know anything about Graham's law, would you? It's one of the gas laws. Like Dalton's law, Avogadro's. What? How many are there? It depends how far down the rabbit hole you wish to go. <laughs> I want to know everything. So, volume is inversely related to pressure. You're a fast learner. <laughs> Avogadro's law and Boyle's... What's the meaning of this? Father, Mr. Buscombe was just teaching me about the gas. Mr. Buscombe was supposed to be waiting in the library. Now everything is completely out of schedule. Thank you for your time, but I think I've read and seen enough. No, Father, please, this was my fault. I warned you about your curiosities getting in the way. Now, you give me no choice but to take away all of your books for good. No, please, you... Forgive me for speaking out of turn. Miss Emily is a fast learner, a natural scientist. Most importantly, she has the rare determination to keep going, even if she has to read a thousand books or take on the establishment to become a doctor. I know passion, and this isn't a phase. Unfortunately for you, Denying her will only make her more determined. Rosamond Callender, Lady of the Household. Do you need to sit down? I'm fine. Tenth day of interviews. Samuel Buscombe. What's your background, Mr. Buscombe? Son of a chemist. 
although they sold the business for my education. Corpus Christi. <laughs> Chemistry and applied mathematics. Would you consider an arrangement? Help and advice sourcing the best materials for Emily to learn? Really, Father? How about a tutor position? If you're going to entertain this, you might as well have a corpus man to guide her. Well, perhaps if you wait around and stay put, we can talk options. Sincere apologies, Mr. Callender. Sir, it's important. I'd learned that, right or wrong. We should at least listen to our instincts. Until tomorrow, Mr. Buscombe. There are some feelings, like a lost boy in the woods, or a son searching for his mother, that are too strong to be ignored, no matter the risk and dangers involved. The Origin of Species. Oh. Good morning, Master Edwin. Miss Emily. We've already studied Darwin. Not like this, you haven't. Prepare yourselves. We're about to take a voyage on the HMS Beagle. Find me the Galapagos Islands. So when did your father meet your stepmother? When we were in India. Did you know much about her background before she joined your family? I don't see what this has to do with Darwin's theory of evolution. I think it's important to know where we all came from. If you say so. If we're sailing towards the Galapagos Islands, I think it's important to know what direction we're going. This globe is very small. I'll get an atlas from the library. Oh, you, you stay where you are. I'll fetch it. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Don't worry, my mind was elsewhere. <laughs> is everything all right, Mr. Buscombe? Yes. I'm just trying to find my bearings. The house can seem somewhat overwhelming, can't it? Hmm. I shouldn't worry, you'll feel like one of the family in no time. I'm Mr. Buscombe. I'm tutoring your brother and sister. That's my mother's room. Really? Duly noted. Did you get lost? It would seem so. Yes. I can draw you a map of the house if you like. That would be very helpful. Thank you. This way, surely. No, we'll end up in the Arctic with you in charge. Or the Antarctic. <laughs> I made you a map in case you get lost again. Lost? I saw him upstairs. I think you're mistaken. Constance is always telling fibs. It's not a fib, but I saw him. Constance, how many times have I told you about running away from the nursery maid? Now apologise to Mr. Buscombe for interrupting his um, lesson. I will not. Constance. You shouldn't. I saw him. I really did. Good morning, Master Edward. Good morning. Good morning, sir. What's the occasion? A trip to the fair, Mr. Bascom. We go to the Did we not tell you your services weren't required today? It must have slipped my mind, sir. Then why don't you join us? Thank you, sir. <laughs> you won't mind travelling with our cartsman? Not at all, sir. I shan't disturb your enjoyment further. Thank you for allowing me to share your carriage, Mr. Callender. Mrs. Callender? Mr. Buscombe? You can't miss this lovely tree. Mama! Papa! But my throat is so tickly, and if it's tickly, I cannot sing. Then perhaps it'd be best to save your voice. Mr. Buscombe, hello again. Have you seen anyone you know? <laughs> no, Mark. The perils of moving to a new area. Friendships are a little threadbare. Then you simply must come and hear me sing. That's very kind. But I'm used to my own company ever since an early age. If you'll excuse me.
were betide those who crossed the calendars. Yeah.